Three minutes after the Big Bang, the temperature had fallen to about one billion degrees, still too hot for atoms to form, but cool enough for protons and neutrons to combine into the nuclei of the lightest elements, hydrogen, helium, and traces of lithium. This process, called Big Bang nucleosynthesis, created the raw materials for the first stars. About 75% of the visible universe became hydrogen, 25% helium, and just trace amounts of lithium, proportions that match exactly what we observe in the oldest stars today. All heavier elements, the carbon in your cells, the oxygen you breathe, the iron in your blood, would have to wait billions of years to be forged in the hearts of stars and scattered by supernovas. The universe continued expanding and cooling for 380,000 years before the next major transition. At this point, the temperature had dropped to about 3,000 degrees Celsius, similar to the surface of a red dwarf star. This was finally cool enough for electrons to be captured by nuclei, forming the first complete atoms. Before this moment, light couldn't travel far before being scattered by free electrons, making the universe opaque like a dense fog.